the speakers have pointed, as you just pointed out, we invested in Bloomsdale uh, because we believe in technology. Uh, as has been identified by many of our previous speakers, uh, storage uh, will evolve. It will become a more integral part of the distributed grid in the future. Whether that's five years, 10 years, 15 years, I can't make that call in terms of how prevalent it will be. I think it will be prevalent on the uh, CNI uh, and levels, of course, a lot uh, sooner than it will be uh, for residential customers. But we do believe that these technologies will ultimately find their way into residential businesses and business applications. So front of me, or I guess front of me, or front of meter applications, what is EEP looking at for, for batteries? Is this something, um, can you talk a little bit about specific applications that, that AEP is considering? Well, it's, it's, it's interesting because, um, and so I'll talk about it from a policy perspective. Mm -hmm. So um, one of the challenges as we talk about the future and the changes that are happening in this industry is that distribution, transmission, generation, they're all becoming increasingly fungible. And the idea that a generation asset is totally and strictly and forever a generation asset is not necessarily the case. And so for example, here in Texas, um, where we're a wireless company, AEP Texas is a wireless company. And we had a solution for customers. It was the cheapest solution for those customers by far, which, which uh, would uh, require uh, storage. I don't think battery was what we were going to utilize. The current rules in Texas would not allow that because the way the market is broken up is you have wires, you have generation, and then you have a retail provider. And the batteries were perceived as a generation and the asset. And the batteries were perceived yeah. as a generation asset. And so I get that. But the reality is that as the world changes, as technology changes, we're going to have to take a fresh look at some of these rules and, and, and really think about whether the old rules apply. And toward which objectives? So. Um, as we were speaking yesterday, we were talking a little bit about um, what reliability versus flexibility versus what resiliency means to someone like AEP that's in that's active in PJM um, and has to be sensitive to uh, you know the fact that uh, extreme weather events are a real thing, um, and now you have more technologies at your disposal to kind of to kind of manage that manage that risk. Um, so, from a reliability perspective, um, what is what do what does a technology like a, a battery mean to you, given that? Given well, that objective? from a lot, as one of the previous speakers said, uh, stated, um, I think that the distribution and transmission networks, although they will evolve, and there will be more technology utilized on those networks to deliver service to customers. Those assets will primarily be above ground assets that will always be vulnerable to weather. So when you talk about uh, storage, when you talk about distributed uh, generating assets, be it solar or be it um, you know, some kind of small fossil-based application, I think the whole idea of microgrids and storage is how you get the kind of reliability to be able to ride through certain events. Uh, and whether or not that's something that you would, uh, how broadly you would do that, it just becomes a function of what people are willing to pay. Uh, I think that, you know, the, the idea of, as batteries evolve, the idea of uh, the generate, generator, um, it changes. I think then you can utilize batteries I think this is also applicable to you know, what happens with uh, EVs, uh, to what degree they're ultimately deployed. So with AEP being in 11 
Washington State, your largest transmission distribution utility in, in the US. Where do you see some of these some of these distributed energy technologies taking hold first? Well, it's, it's, it's interesting. So let me, uh, in AEP's footprint, we, we see it primarily right now on the coast. Uh, Columba 